And comrades, let's abide by decisions we take. The SARS must answer to us, what have they been doing? Mr. Kingon is here, the commissioner. We want you to deliver, right? We may not be here, some of us like me, next year this time, but others will ensure that this gets done. On illicit financial flows, no compromise. No compromise whatsoever, right? On illicit tobaccos, no compromise. Now, let's come to Mr. Uh, Comrade Floyd Chivambu, right? There's a very simple delusion he has. Comrade Floyd, you know, you know, that in order to have a government policy, in order to be in government, you have to win an election. Now, you have a slight problem there, Comrade Floyd. You've got 6 to 8% at the moment. And you seem to be crumbling because you're saying the same things you've said all along. And by the way, why are you taking ANC policies and making it yours? You know full well we decided when you were in the ANC itself that we will have a state-owned bank. Point of you order. know, my brother. Point of order, you Madam, know, my brother. Madam, you know, <laughs> we have already said, Floyd, order, Floyd, 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 you have a wonderful Madam researcher. Karen. You know full well <coughs> that in December order, 2017, Madam we took Honorable. yet another decision to ensure that SARB is in national hands. The Honorable Karim, private show. sorry, yes. Yeah, please wait a minute. My brother, um, just keep don't on standing. Bongi, yeah, right for the Honorable Njoman. Yeah. Okay, I don't know where to sit, so I'll stand. Thank you. The Bolshevik dislodged Mensheviks. Hence, EFF will what, what, what definitely point become out? a government. What Thank point? Thank you. <laughs> All right, Honorable, Honorable Floyd. Honorable uh, the, uh, What's chair, the point of order? Chairperson. I look. There is nothing wrong with uh, the chairperson of the committee debating. So the policies what point, which Honourable we are legislating on, I am the founding manifesto of the EFF adopted in 2013. You only took resolutions now in 2017. <laughs> so you must admit that. Don't mislead this process. You, know, you must be honest at least in terms of what yeah, I'm talking about. Right. Don't okay. Honourable Shibambu, okay, please take your seat. But, on that, continue, please continue, yeah. Honorable Karim. Now, now, let's go to something else. He knows full well, Floyd does, uh, Mr. Uh, Comrade Shivambu, that actually we have a post-bank bill coming up, right? And we've written a report on financial sector transformation, which he adopted, and they are post. And you are very good there, let's add. Right. No, no, no. There's no, there is no ideological. Now, you talk about our collective incapacity, Comrade Floyd. You have a collective incapacity to increase your vote. Let's start with that. Right before our collective incapacity. Now, my, my friend there from the IFP, who's normally sedate and moderate, and Mr. Lees, on SAA, let's be clear, we agree to private participation, but no to privatization. SAA has commercial viability possibilities while serving a national developmental task. We will not give up on SAA, and the EFF won't agree either, so they'll be on the same page. On private sector participation, yes. On private equity participation, yes. On privatization, no. And by the way, last week there was, unfortunately, as the chairperson said, she acted in good faith. She acted, can I clarify something about this? Comrade Tandi, uh, you acted in good faith last week. You there have one was minute. not corrective, correct information before the meeting when the decision was taken to close. We have agreed that we can only close parts of a meeting in terms of the rules. And the ANC has no intention of undermining the very rules that we've passed. Minister, can we make something clear? When the chairperson, acting chairperson is saying we'll pass the bills, she's referring to the bills before us, the tax administration bill, the tax laws administration bill, the postbank bill, as we told you, uh, uh, and a bill, uh, his private member's bill, and so on. But no more. No more. We'll leave his bill. We've spoken to you on behalf of the committee, spoken to the leader of government business. This thing, comrade chair, can I raise this thing, which we've been raising for a long time? Our legislative program is too executive driven. Parliament is the tribune of the people. It's not for the executive to decide. They can come with their program, but they cannot decide for us as parliament. Not in terms of the NDR and our vision of a people's power parliament. Why do we allow the executive to dictate to us which bill should come first? We are telling the minister, you, you must actually bring bills that only we recognize as urgent. Minister, with due respect to you, you are a former chair of this committee. Do you really expect, do you really expect that before April 2019, we are going to process another eight extra bills? We have contacted you, we've contacted the leader of government business, the president's office, the chief of the majority party, and Honorable still they're insisting on all these bills. 
your you time. You are a senior well. member of the executive. Do something. Thank you very much. I'll say I told the TA we were going to win the debate. We have won the debate.